Good morning, welcome. It's Friday, October 24th. We um, break up today for two week autumn break. Students return to school on Monday, November the 10th. Hope you'll enjoy the two week break. Um, it's new for us this year, so um, as I say, I think it's good that we do a two week break in the autumn term. We will only have one more um, inset day um, this year, and that's on Friday the 13th of February. Um, so those one-off inset days have now ended at, uh, at PCS. We do have our target setting day in January, um, so that will be a day where parents and students will come into school, but effectively one more inset day, which is the 13th of February, Friday the 13th, and a two-week break starting today, and students return on November the 10th, Monday, November 10th, at 8.40. You should over the next few days receive uh, one of these, which is the latest Priory Post newsletter. We're producing that three times a year now, uh, at the end of Term 1, Term 3 and Term 5. Lots of information in there about things that we've done this term um, in the seven weeks of the first term back at school. Um, when we do come back to school in, on Monday, November 10th, I'm asking all members of staff to produce our first data gathering of the year. And on December the 1st, uh, parents will also receive a progress report. We call our system here uh, Praising Stars. This is the information sheet that goes out to staff uh, and with some advice about how they uh, complete the data entry for Monday, November the 10th. So in, in early in December, parents will receive the first of the four progress reports throughout the year. Interestingly enough, uh, you may have heard in the news that SAT tests are now um, have been scrapped at national level. We were planning this year to complete SATs at the end of year 8 and year 9, um, but however, uh, clearly now they've been scrapped, uh, SATs will not happen at Priory in 2009. Um, the government intend, as I understand, to introduce an American-style report card uh, based pretty much uh, similar, uh, as I understand it, to, to things we're doing here in terms of uh, more progress reports. I remember at Priory we do four progress reports and one end of term, end of year written report um, to all students. The year 11 written report um, appears in January and the year 7, 8, 9 and 10 written reports appear in June and July of the school year. Um, we are very pleased this term to have had our awards evening. You will see within the newsletter some um, information about the students who won awards at our awards evening. We presented over um, 150 awards to various students uh, and that was a very good evening at Winter Garden. If parents attended that, my thanks for parents' uh, support on the awards evening. It's always a great night and a very, very important night for us, clearly. Also this term, uh, in recent weeks, we've been um, celebrating our business manager, Mr Kerslake, who has been uh, awarded the title of National Bursar of the Year. So Martin Kerslake, many congratulations to Martin. He's the National Bursar of the Year. Um, parents who uh, visit the site now um, speak very highly of the way in which we've developed the environment here at Priory uh, with the new buildings and of course we are planning in 2009 our new £12 million building in Association Western College. Um, I'm quite keen for any parents, existing parents, who um, want to tour the school to make appointments through through the school, through um, the front office here. Um, please come on a tour of Priory and have a look around at the new buildings and the classrooms where students um, and teachers um, spend their day, daily work. In connection with that, at uh, the end of November, uh, Tuesday, November the 25th, is our second uh, family learning evening. We had uh, one back in um, October, and the next one is Tuesday, November the 25th. Um, letters will go out about that on November the 17th, but essentially what happens on the family learning evening is we encourage parents and students to come together into school. Um, and this one is going to be um, about our virtual learning environment, our VLE. Um, how we use ICT in school and how we teach mathematics to our students. So you will receive a letter about that um, on November the 17th, the week of November the 17th. If you can come in on Tuesday, November the 25th, it starts at half past six at Priory and I think it will be very helpful to um, show you how we teach mathematics and use the virtual learning environment. 
Lastly for me this morning is a notice to uh, our Year 11 students and Year 10 students that the week of November 10th when we return the 13th of November is a very important date in the calendar. That's the date when we're going to hold, host our next set of Year 10 and Year 11 GCSE Maths exams. There's some resits for some Year 11s and some um, first module tests for the Year 10s. So over the break I really hope that the Year 10s and Year 11s are spending some of their time on revision activities. So that's it from me this morning. Um, thank you for your support this uh, first term back at Priory. We return on Monday, November the 10th. Um, plenty of things happening again next term. Um, I again hope parents have received this um, interesting booklet during the course of the term and uh, this is our 61 different activities happening in terms one and terms two. So just flicking through this um, recently I've noticed you know that we at school have a homework club which starts uh, which starts every evening at half past three and goes through until um, half past four. Um, that's very important that students can have a space after school to do their homework. Cooking clubs, Who's Line Improvisation, Latin, Guitar Club, Art Club, all the sporting clubs, Media Clubs, uh, Robotics Clubs, Maths GCSE Support, Horse Riding, Parental French, just to, to name a few. If you've clearly not received one of these um, flyers about the after school activities, please contact us at school and we'll get another one sent out to you. So as I say, thank you very much for your support over these first uh, seven and a half weeks of school and students return again on Monday, November the 10th.